Welcome back to the episode of Taha is going to free himself. Oh yeah. Um Okay, it's that side. Kind of feels as if I'm using some health potion or something. Like, look at this. Really strange. So let's leave the sewers or through the sewers, is it? Yeah. We are in the sewers right now. Would you like to travel to Farland's Hope? Yes. With Aelot Iskander executed for allying with your father during the Mage Wars, the Iskander lands have since fallen into anarchy. On your journey, you've met many travelers, sunken-cheeked figures who've told you stories about having lost their homes to bannerless soldiers and bandits. They've also told you something else. That a once deserted village has come back into bloom, offering refuge to those without shelter. Fallen's hope. What is wrong with that D there? See that? Deserted. It's, uh... Looks like the ink has kind of gone away a little bit. But it, this effect does not happen with any other letter. Weird. Whatever. Alright, let's see. According to our map, Farland's Hope should be down this path to the east. Ah, and east is this way? We need to be careful, though. Hmm. From what I've heard, things have become pretty grim in Iskander after the rebellion. Ooh. You know, bandits, roaming monsters, orcs, the usual delights. Orcs? Nah, come on. I know. We'll be on our guard. Good. Then let's get going. Hmm. <gasps> yes? Yes, yes. Uh, wait a minute. Let's just uh, do a little quick save here. There we go. So, what do we have here? A dead dude. Ah, uh, blood burn blisters to form this man's head beyond recognition. E. Now would you look at that? Now look at that. Oh, this sounds so good. This kind of sound. It's amazing. So, we can get up there. Can we, uh... Go a little further? No. Okay. Ah, there's a little campman. Ah, uh, boys, again. Wow. It's actually, uh, again, a very, very small area, but it looks extremely populated. They will fall. Wait. Uh, we should have summoned them from beforehand. No, 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 Ay, ay, ay. Run, run, run. We like the chase. Uh huh. And I like to kill the goblins. Shabush. Uh oh. I don't have uh, enough focus in order to call another badge of enemies. Eh, uh, zombies. <laughs> That's my blood. Shashli. <laughs> my. My. Aww. Poor Goblin. It's kind of funny that he's called Shashlik, by the way. Uh, what do we got? Helm of the Pack. Chance to summon a Goblin to your aid with every auto check. Ho <laughs> ho! Yes! We're going where this thing? Um, with every auto. Okay, who has the fastest auto attack? 0.29. Uh, let's hope that she can wear that. Uh, yep, this does not seem to be limited. Free, 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 free. Very neat. Whoa, looks pretty cool. Very nice. Very nice. Having oh, special loot from the get go. Okay, might be a bit overpowered, Let's but see. it gives you kind of a taste of what might come at some point. So, I just have to figure out if there is loot down here in this camp or not. Mm. Like, Shashlik's stuff was pretty... pretty decent already. Whoa. It is all over the place. I like it. Really difficult to maneuver. Uh, how do we... There's a woman. Okay. Does this woman have a name? Nope. What do you mean I can't pass? We need to get fresh water! Look, ma'am, it's the commander's orders. 
No villagers beyond the outskirts. I don't give a rat's ass about the commander. Mm. Let me through. I won't. Now bugger off. Go talk to the commander or Clara if you want to shout at someone. I'll be back. Hmm. Okay. This woman does not seem to be pleased. Shut off. Ah, uh, come on. Got it. <laughs> All right. Got it. We found Farland's hope. Oh, already. So, what's your plan? Shall we just walk in there and tell everyone we're sent by the Harbinger of Light? No. Let's look for that mayor and use the code word Lacane gave us. Hmm. He'll know what to do. Sounds good. Understood. Understood. Problem is I forgot the whole thing. I have to uh, re-read on up on that. No, what about these guys? A traveler, are you? Mm -hmm. Don't get many these days. Be careful out there. Oh. Can I just waltz past you or what? Bugger off. Interesting. So and there goes another one. The commander said villagers only. They look like they can take care of themselves. Huh. Okay. And there goes another one. They're like ah. Huh. So anyone who waltzes uh, further north will sure. probably get killed. But yeah, let's just have a little expedition up here before we continue on our little mission just so we can find out more stuff also um can she wear that stuff no this is a light plate armor uh constitution seven like when i see the uh, <laughs> the abbreviation con i'm like condition uh not mm. constitution interesting and here we have Northwoods, Everlight. Hmm. You are met by a mossy smell as you peer into the well's shaft. It extends far into the deep. Look at that. Visitors, Another hermit. Welcome to my humble abode. Isn't that kind of familiar? It's been some time since I last saw a stranger's hmm. face. What brings you to these lands? Business. What are you doing in a place like this? Well, first of all, I live here. And secondly, this place is the only place I can do my work. Mm, and what is that? What kind of work? Do you see that well over there? It connects to a big lake directly beneath our feet. The only source of clean water for this part of Iskander. Hmm. So you sell water to the villagers? Hmm. Villagers, bandits, orcs, whoever has the coin. Hmm, isn't that dangerous? Why don't the orcs just kill you? Yeah. Because, just like anyone else, they need water. And I'm the only one who can provide them with it. Why? Couldn't they just kill you and use the well for themselves? Aye, so it should seem. But a good trader never reveals his secrets. Hmm. Uh, aren't you scared? These parts aren't exactly safe. Aren't you scared of all the monsters? Not really. I know I may not look it, but I know how to defend myself. Hmm. Wouldn't it be safer to stay in Farland? Wouldn't it be much safer to stay in Farland's Hope? With those pitchfork-wielding farmers as guards around? No, I don't think so. I'm fine right where I am. Hmm. All right, we'll go now. Good luck with everything. What? So you're not going to ask me about that ridiculously large tree that fell right onto my roof? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Um... <laughs> what about it? What happened? Well, it's simple. Somewhere in the forest live a bunch of trolls. You know, the house high, big teeth, feral type. Two days ago, in the middle of the night, I saw them lurking near the house. Hmm. And wham! Suddenly, I see that tree flying right towards my roof. I barely made it out alive. Long story short, the roof can be repaired, but something needs to be done about those trolls. Mm. And since I absolutely don't trust the village militia to handle this, I was wondering if you could take care of it. Well, yeah. What do I get in return? Nah, free water. That sounds dangerous. What do I get in return? Apart from my everlasting gratitude? Enough gold to make up for the danger. Mm. I'll see what I can do. Where can I, I find don't... these trolls? I still don't know how much gold that would be. I don't know exactly where they're mm. hiding, but probably up north from Farland's Hope in the forest. Good luck, friend. And thank you. Hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's see. Yes? Found the trolls yet? 
Not yet. I don't know exactly where they're hiding, but probably up north from Farland's Hope in the forest. Hmm. Good luck, Whoa. friend. And okay. Thank you. At least uh, it's only two trolls and not much more, but Jesus Christ. So, Tahar, tell me something. Yes? Is Samo Tahar the mage rebel is your father? I got that. But who? Is my mother. Yeah. She's dead. She died while giving birth to me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. As I said, I never knew her. <laughs> they just don't want to write a backstory. <laughs> Lazy bastard. The house was completely crushed by the weight of the trunk. You got it. Alright, what else do we have? Oh, we are already at the border. I don't need to go further west. That, that's what I mean. You have this dark area and you think you can just... Uh, ooh, go there and explore it. But the opposite happens. Okay. Uh, go back a little bit. We need... Our zombies to handle that. Uh... Why can't we just fight a little quicker? Oh, All right, here that's nothing. why. What does it say? Movement speed, car speed, and attack speed is decreased oh, by a lot. Uh, can we? Uh, ah, okay. Once we mind. get out of that field, we are good again. Just Jesus Christ! It's really difficult to actually sure. see anything down there. What about these guys? Uh, the woman has bruises and cuts all over her body. Someone carved the symbol of Aonir into the skin of her forehead. Oh. Now would you look at that? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, at least we got some nice loot from them, though. Oh. Um. What is this strange shaped thingy? Uh, a torn journal page. We saw another group of mages wandering our lands. We were able to stay silent, though. Others were not so lucky. They spotted the Helling family. I told my children to look away. I should have done the same. I could hear their bones snap as the mages gestured with their hands. I could see the look of fear and terror in their father's eyes. They keep asking us about books that we have no knowledge of. Some say it was a battle between mage guilds that lighted the fire of rebellion. However, most of the mages that wander Skanda are Isamo's apprentices. We will have to stay silent through the night. I want my family to be able to sleep in their own beds, but the cellar stays a must for now. Tomorrow we will make a run for it and leave these guardian forsaken bands. Uh, guardian forsaken lands. That's a weird term. It's not God Forsaken, it's Guardian Forsaken. And the Guardians are actually some creatures that are near place then, yeah. That are supposed to, well, yeah, guard things. <laughs> Mostly. Okay. Damn it. Like, this skill yes. needs to be cast a little bit quicker somehow. Like, I want to target an enemy and then I want to trigger the uh, cast, whatever, zombie kind of thing. They will fall. But it does not seem to work. Also, there doesn't really uh, seem to be a nice hotbar for it. Other than going for the other control scheme. But the other control scheme is just that. Bam. It is quicker though. But... What about X? Does X do something? W, S, X, O. Yeah. Now I get it. Is there a button to switch control schemes? That would be really helpful. So you're basically going back and forth between control schemes. Let me just look through that real quick. Maybe there's a button here. Um, issue command, quick load, yada yada yada, zoom in, uh, reset camera orientation, quick select slot, so on so on. Select first hero prior, da 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 da, select all heroes, circle through current selection. No. Kill selected units. Um, switch to action group one. No, control grid. There. No, that's the one uh, at the bottom right. Party inventory. No, no, no. 
Building construction, nope. Uh, map overview, M, yeah, lock sector in map overview. Middle mouse button, okay. Uh, notification history, nope. First hero quick slot, there we go. Like, the whole thing is unmapped, so there's no way for me to actually select the abilities. What I have to do is, I would say, yeah, I can have four heroes. Or can I? Yeah, four heroes. That's it right there. <laughs> <laughs> um hmm yeah i have to uh switch that toggle follow camera toggle hero highlighting toggle economy mode jump to selection q commands uh form squad from selected this band da, 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 da. then uh, remove from current selection access hero no pen camera um, yeah i can rotate it but panning wait a minute hold and move mouse the middle mouse button uh yeah it's just moving the camera around uh show health ball multiplayer pink no i'm looking for a button that switches between the control schemes that would be really cool so before a fight i switch to the uh, quick select uh control scheme and then once i'm done i go back to the uh Regular control scheme, switch active control scheme. Ah, there we go. There is a switch active control scheme. There is a button for it. Now, I just have to figure out how I could do that. Maybe I can use the... Oh, yeah. Let's go for a MEX2, whatever that means. And I'm going to use it twice. Nice. Okay. That should do it. So. Uh, oh. Jesus. Yep, there we go. It works. Perfect. So I can save. Ah, now I can save. Hmm. But if I switch to that mode, everything's fine now. Perfect. Uh, the thing is, I can't move the camera in this mode. Um, I can, I I can't move it with the arrow keys now. But arrow keys don't work. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, really, really iffy thing. Uh, or maybe what I can try to do is just... Yeah, why not? Let's ignore the whole... Or should I? Like, kind of like the uh, idea of uh, switching that. Usually I'm just going for the uh, alt situation here, like this one. And then I'm going to quick select it, depending on the situation. So what I have to do now uh, is probably... Um, I don't want to... How do I unmap it? Um, uh, escape goes away like that. Uh, if I go with... No. Bollocks. Um, I think I didn't change anything in here, did I? Yeah, quick save and quick load is the same still. Mm, so let's go for... Quick select, sel no, where's the first one? Mm, yeah, first hero, quick slot two. Mm, I'm gonna go for, oh, what if I go with shift? Oh, that's good, oh, that's good, oh, that's amazing. Um, Because shift doesn't do anything, I believe. Uh, let's see, yeah, oh, See that? Shift, depending on the situation, uh, lets the camera go slower. That's cool. Oh, come on. Why, why must shift be a thing? Okay, then we have like Alt. Okay. Uh, alt C, Alt X. X in general. Okay. Mm, alt X doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh,. Alright. Okay, uh, I think I... What happened? Will do. Follow camera, wait a minute. Um, how do I get back from the follow camera? Was it E? No. Mm, Alt E? No. Uh, F? No. Alt F? No. Uh, Alt V? No. Um, Alt A? Alt S? Nope. Alt D? No. Alt C? No, Alt X, yes, or no, 
Ah, it was just X. Okay, let's forget about that. So, because now I... Um, um, because I, I know that I can use combos, right? And in most games, when I have uh, quick slots like these, uh, ability quick slots or whatever, I uh, and I also use W A as a D to move. I use a um, uh, another trigger button, uh, not control in this case, but sometimes I do shift most of the time. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I'm gonna go with like this one. Hey, it says Q and Alt, not Alt and Q for some reason. So, ability two, ability three, and the other heroes. Yeah. One, two, and second X is the third one. Third hero will get E and D and C. And the fourth hero will get R and F and V. There we go. That is actually a really nice setup. Mm. And it, it just looks a bit iffy now. Look at this. It's a... Uh, uh, instead of, uh, well, having double uh, buttons in here, they should have listed it top to bottom. Because then it would at least fit the uh, space in here. But okay. For now, uh, I can use it. That's perfect. Got it. Oh, that's nice. Ah, oh, that's great. So, and I can be a really lazy bum when it comes to picking things. What is this? Uh, another Sounds statue? Like weird one. Really weird one. Hmm. Though the brazes are lit, the statues show sign of neglect and the offering bowl is empty. So, can we offer something? No. You interact with the whole thing. Sure. Oh! In this case, Alt is actually the... Uh, the do anything kind of button right now. It is connected to the quick select for everything. And it is also uh, connected to this stuff here. <laughs> oh, Let's that's see. neat. Uh, lesser winter stuff. What does it do? 1071. That's the same kind of damage. Just frost. There we go. Oh, okay. I really have to be careful here. Okay. So, alt in this case triggers everything. But in this case... Uh, I can't do Alt and A if I hover over an enemy. What I have to do is, uh, for this ability is I have to select it and then target over it. But it's quicker still than clicking on that and going down here. Here we go. What did they do? Yeah. Oh, come on. I could have done that much quicker, right? With this. Uh, can I use like? What's next? Nah, they're already dead. Okay, that was unexpected. That way. Interesting. Interesting. What do we have here? Another shield. Sweet. You got it. Uh, could these thingies just not follow me? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh. Uh. Will do. She seems to be frightened for some reason. Uh, there we have. Wait a minute. Okay, before we go in here, let's just uh, sounds like a plan. Have a little look around still. Ah, killed thingies, crushed. That must be where the trolls are, or maybe some bandits did that. What is this? Mm, farmers, fallen folk, most likely. Now, get them. Hi, da, 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 da. Understood. More cutthroats. Take them down. Yes. No, it's not working. Jesus. Okay, I have to use the quick select thingy. Yes. Uh, oh, there's the there's the goblet. Nice. So let's take these out. 
I don't see the enemies, so it gets really... Like, I can see them now, but... Mm -hmm. uh, I think what I have to do is uh, I have to select... Uh oh Yes. Whatever's necessary. Seems to be really good when it comes to whoa healing, but I'm better. I can silence. All right. I think in order to know that there are enemies here, and it would make things much much easier for me, um, is to it's either display or user interface. One of the two. Slow motion always shows selected units health bars. Eh, selected units. Mm, show concealed unit outlines for there we go determines for which units outlines will be displayed when they are hidden behind objects there we go not just your own oh enemies as well okay so as long as enemies are behind objects i can see them mm, great okay neutral and allies um it would make things a little bit easier for me if i can see everyone behind whatever object uh, just so I know that there is something um, so I don't miss NPCs what else we got mm, always show select units health bars yeah mm. let's just take that the thing is it's it's it kind of feels better if the health bars are gone at some point because then you're a bit more immersed in the game and once you are well yeah let's just uh, deselect that so and once we are full health again everything's fine we got ourselves a little battle axe what else now um you look at that yeah that, that was the fallen folk and the ambush mm. oh yeah wait a minute you can actually get some items from this dude Let's see it's just not that obvious that you can click on it Uh, that one glows goldy-ish. That way. But you, sure. you look at that. So if you see gold on the ground, ah, uh, okay, there was a little bit of gold glimmer there, there as well. So either you can walk over this. No. Okay, gold you can just walk over, but this stuff, the gospel of the light. Okay, that's something that I have seen so many times now. Empyrean Helmet. Immunity versus critical hits and interrupts. Side reduce reduction a lot. And an Elven Spear. Well, I could give her the Elven Spear, but then I would lose, uh, yeah, the, the, the Archer ability. So, does the Gospel uh, of the Light... How many Gospels of the Light do I have? Yeah, see that? One, two, three... Pillars of the Purity's Faith. Uh, when our new father of God stones on Eo, yeah. It's not just another chapter. Where are we going? Either her health regeneration is extremely low. One per second, one per second. Yeah, both of them have the same health regeneration, but hers just won't regenerate for some reason. That is weird. Oh. Dead people. Dead people with staff. Pedigree hood. Nice. Reinforced medium plate. Ooh. Aww. It's a really good armor, but I don't have the uh, right constitution for it. But I'm almost completely at the north. Oh, there's a bear. That's almost unbearable! Ah! Okay, how far do I need to... Okay, that's the distance. What was that? No, the bear's doing something. Sounds Maybe like a, a charge? Scream, what's this? There is something on him. Uh, it decreases all resistance. By how much? My okay, it says minus 50, but not by how much it got reduced. That would be a bit com more convenient. Now. Oh, I should have used the silence spell once I see a casting bar. Love them. That would make an awful lot of sense. Okay, and in the cave we have what? Ooh, the mirror of frost ring. The mirror ornament has been designed. Yada yada yada. Uh, it's a good ring. Well, yeah, against frost damage. 
but that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't have any rings myself. Let's just use it so we don't get killed by frost-ish damage. Uh, the thing is, in this cave, there's still something blue-ish glowing, and I don't know if you can select it or not. That way. I think it's just there is a hint that there is stuff to find, but nothing really to obtain otherwise. Just as a little information that there's loot to be gathered, and you should check that out. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Come on, we have to move, we have to move, we have to move. There All we right. go. Here goes nothing. That means we are still slow. Why are we still we slow? Ta -ta 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 -ta. Sure. That spider field is annoying. Okay. Let's just use this stuff here. Oh, wait a minute. I should just. Spitting cave. Okay, that's a spitting one. That's just a normal tarantula. Maybe this one does all of the slow spells. Got it. Mm -hmm. Get ready. And once I silence it, it might be uh, impossible for them to silence me much more. And here we have another winter stuff. The second one now. Hmm. Also, where do I see my... Ah, there's the experience. <laughs> I was like, okay, wait a minute. Hmm, 9,100 out of 10,000. It's really difficult to find things in this game. It is... Oh, look at that. That's another one. Okay, uh, the decay of the uh, objects, the glow, is not immediate enough so that you... Like, you think you picked it up and then you just move on because you still see the glimmer there. And you don't expect anything to change, but it should be more immediate, to be honest. It should be much faster. And there we have ourselves another godstone. Let's just quickly get this one. And there we have the... Yeah, connecting godstones. You conquered a second godstone. You can now establish a teleportation portal between your godstones. Simply select one of your godstones. Use the uh, Godstone travel button in the building menu to open the Godstone menu and establish a connection. Da, 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 da. Whatever. So, we can click on it. We can click on teleport. Uh, there's another one. We can click on it. We can click on teleport. It has a nice hum to it, though, too. That's sweet. Whoa, there's a crater in here. Someone threw, must have thrown a very, very heavy object. Multiple heavy objects. Uh, anything else up here? No. This ruin itself kind of looks like a spaceship. Understood. Sleeping trolls. Lovely. Hmm. Let's give them a wide berth, shall we? As in, don't get close to them? Or in, we're going to rip their asses open? <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Damn it. I need healing. Oh no, I'm stunned. Run, 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 wrong direction! Oh shit! Damn it! I need healing. Whoa. That way? Fair enough. Let's do this. Okay. Get ready! What's next? Here we go. No, 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 no. What are they doing? Uh huh. Ooh, right. ha, ho, ha, ho, ha. I almost got. Oh no, they are raiders. Jesus. Got it. That's cheating. That's cheating. That's cheating. I almost got that one troll, and then uh, all of a sudden raiders. Why? That's that's so cheat. Come on. Almost got them. Will do. Yeah, now it now it can waltz through it, but understood. They should have made these uh, objects click throughable. Whatever's necessary. Okay. They will fall. Get ready. Uh, 
Okay, number one is almost done. Ah, because I'm close to one of those camps. Okay, almost got it. Almost got it. Okay, number one is done. You read my mind. Okay, the war troll is now in my glossary. Is this one coming closer or is it just standing there? It's standing there. In the meantime, uh, we can read up on trolls. Humanoids on top of that too. Uh, so these are standard humanoids. They come in all shapes and sizes. And then there are of course some wolves. Yeah, I know that one uh, that much. Orcish. Oh, tr war troll is orcish. Okay. It's a troll, not an orc. Smaller than their siege troll cousins. The common troll is still a danger to even the most skilled troll tamer. Scholars still debate whether trolls are simply small siege trolls or whether the two are distinct creatures. As only the orc troll tamers of the Ash Raver tribe have managed to tame them, studies of trolls are limited. The last known attempted study of trolls in the wild was by the scholar Erasdian, who disappeared after setting out for troll territory. Well, and how did they disappear, huh? Here we go. Do -de -do -de -do. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yes. Zombies are amazing. Let's do this. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Come on, point one. Oh yeah, point something attacks per second means it's less than one a second. I'm like, shouldn't it be like three attacks or so? No, not at all. Not at all. Why is that one not available? There we go. One thirty, one zero. Sure. Da, 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 da. Always watch where you're clicking, just in case. Wow, that, that's actually really fast. And I got the trolls, thank goodness. A new point of interest has been revealed. They don't even have items on them. What is this? Nope. Uh, yeah, a sickening smell surrounds the dead troll. His body shows no signs of external injury. So how did they die then? Let's see. Uh, wait a minute. Where did the other troll fall to? I mean, it was three trolls, right? Kind of r reminds me of the uh, troll um, part in The Hobbit. Nice. So there are trolls doing things up here. Oh! I think the hermit did something. The hermit probably poisoned them. That. that could be why there's a little puddle of water here. Whatever. Could be it, could not be it. So, if I get closer to here... Uh, will these orcs now... Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Never click on objects. This game does not like objects at all. Can't even click on things, right? Let's hope I can deal at least a little bit of damage. Fair enough. Uh, Let's do this. Kind of. I'm taking too much damage. What do we need? Yeah. There we go. Got another one. What is it? A spear wielder. So, not spellbook, glossary. Huh? Of the various clans that comprise the Fire Wielder tribe, by far the largest is the Sul clan. The Spear Wielders of Sul represent a significant part of the Orcish forces. Though human and elf Spear Wielders warriors rely on finesse and deft hand, Sul Spear Wielders rely on their sheer force and numbers to win a battle. Although it may seem like the brutish orcs lunge into battle without formation or fine-tuned skill with their weapon, it is actually part of the clan's strategy to completely overwhelm the enemy. As a result of this approach, large families within the clan are encouraged to commit all of their cups to spear-wielder trading. 
cups. Sounds like wolves to me, almost. So, let's cast this one down, huh? The run. Uh, okay. They will fall. Nice. And another one. Almost got it. The thing is, if the uh, spell is charged up, then for a very very short period of time, I'm basically useless on the field. Yeah. Just give the word. Mm -hmm. I don't have focus, and I don't want to go through those potions. So what you have to do is pick your battles wisely. Ah, run, 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 run. All right, here goes nothing. <laughs> Get ready. And. Uh, shouldn't there be a charge up or something happening? Understood. There we go. You read my mind. Oh yeah. So, and there's also a, another unit that I figured out. No reason the... to worry, boy. Yeah. Chieftain. Ooh, nice. The Ravager. The Nork clan ravagers are legendary among orcs, and their enemies alike. Clan legend states that Nork, their namesake and first chieftain, named a walk in a battle of strength, and will that lasted three days. His people became the first walk riders and gave the fire wielder tribes a significant advantage in battle. Among, uh, even among that tribe, however, the Nork are known to be as bloodthirsty and savage as their walks. Strife between the clans is common, as the Nork clan demands to be treated as equals with the others in the tribe. Alright, let's just summon them here. Then they should kind of trigger a response. Bonds. We almost got it. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Nice. And we got the wall rider as well. We'll do. Here we go. Whatever's necessary. Those zombies are amazing. As long as I put them on the front lines, I'm actually pretty good. Oh. Come on. There we go. So much so to that. Mm -hmm. Now, what was the other one? Warg mm -hmm. Rider. Wargs play an integral role in Orc society. They and their riders serve the clans as scouting parties, combining the wasteland for... Combing the wasteland for both raiding opportunities and possible threats. In battle, Walk Rider packs can be seen leading the charge of Orc forces. Selective breeding of Orc tamer, tamed Wargs for the largest and most vicious pups over many generations has led to noticeably different beasts than their wild counterparts, making them all the more deadly in battle. So, how am I going to survive that? Don't want to get shot at. Uh, okay, we targeted from afar. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, let's just destroy that thing. It might be that you... Uh, yeah, kind of feels like it. It might be that you have to summon some normal units uh, uh, for the strategy part. So, can I summon a second unit? No, I can't. Whatever's necessary. Are they attacking me now? Okay. They seem to only attack the units closest to them, even if they targeted me before. They just switch to whatever is more convenient. Almost got it. Almost got it. Why are there so many craters? Someone has to throw stuff out here. Whoa. 
I came with a little bit of a surprise. Understood. Alrighty. Not gonna go any further than that. Uh, the hermit was very close mm -hmm. by, so... Oh, and it also tells me that I can... Uh, why doesn't that work? This one, I go for teleport and... Oh, okay, I have to click on this one and I have to click on teleport and then I can select others and then I can click on open portal. And you have to walk through it. That's cheat. Also, your camera is not ported to the location of the units that you pressed through. So check that as well. But ah, oh, it looks so cool. So cool. Yeah, this dude had a quest for us and we're going to finish it holding a crutch. Uh, crutch. Grudge. I took care of the trolls for you. Mm -hmm. You did? Great! Good work! <laughs> now all I need to do is repair that roof somehow. What about the reward? Hmm. Ah, yes. <laughs> of course. Ooh. Here, take that. I brew these myself. Believe me, they taste better than they look. Okay. And... Now I best get to it, shouldn't I? That roof won't fix itself. Thanks again for your help. You're welcome. All right. Stay safe. I will. Trust me. Mm-hmm. You at least killed one of those trolls. Uh, potion of proficiency and potion of empowerment. Uh, both of them are artifacts. This one, proficiency one. Uh, a magical concoction that opens up the mind of the user and makes him more aware of the abilities and potentials that lie within. It is considered one of the greatest creations of the Northander Alchemy Court. Mm. Potion of Empowerment. This potion was originally created to boost the physical attributes of the Scander Battle Mages. It was later discovered that the concoction improves all of the attributes of any warrior. Okay, so this one opens up the mine. Um, I would say that uh, both of those potions uh, would improve your points somehow. One of them probably... Uh, increases your attributes uh, the one that's more expensive and then you have the ability ones the thing is um i'm not really limited by the abilities right i can only have three abilities three active ones and of course an awful lot of passives and whatever um at the same time and yeah i'm just generally limited here but attribute points they are actually kind of like the amazing key factors here. They unlock items and uh, they also scale your damage as well. So you can only level up the abilities once or twice or so. But attributes you can level up much, much more. So what I th would say I'm going to do is uh, get the attribute potion here. This one uh, for the empowerment. For and I'm gonna use it and see what happens. So, we saved now. Uh, what do we got here? White potion for white protection. <laughs> There's black. <laughs> so, where was I? Um, empowerment. There we are. It's right next to the fresh start. And you can only have a maximum of five fresh start potions at once. Interesting. So, let's use it. Uh... Oh, okay. Yes, it's a permanent one. Um, you have to select it, place it down here in the artifact slot, and then you are attributed an attribute point. Very nice. Very nice. And now I can just um, place it somewhere. Also... Did I give her... Use up all of her slots as well? I don't know. Eh, whatever. So, if I would make this a little bit better, then it would need intelligence. Create an area on the ground that applies... Da, 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 da. 
Increases attribute points. What I need is attack speed, but there is no such thing as attack speed. Healing, nah. Well, healing would also be kind of nice, to be honest. But I'm going to use someone else to heal. Mm -hmm. Also, look at that. Um, if it would scale up this one here, the archery, then it would select other abilities. Then it would end up with this one here. Um, single target scaling with like weapon damage and so on. 150. Two... Seconds casting cooldown, but 11. Uh, ele this one costs you 11 focus points, and this one costs you 17. What on earth is happening? Hmm. That's just so mean. Absolutely mean. Yeah, bonus damage with ranged weapons. That would be so sweet. Also, revealing uh, some territory. Ooh, that would be so cool, too. I just don't know what to use. I would say I'm just waiting, uh, and then I can level up some other stuff. Every time you drink a health potion, you regain da-da-da-da. If you drink health potions, you regain a small amount of focus and get the additional healing over short time. That's pretty useful. Um, but I, I think I'm gonna go with Elin's champion again. And uh, get a chance to inflict purge. Nah. I'm powered with white now, man. Yeah, let's just hope that this worked somehow. Allies around the hit. Ah, uh, heal. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was the one that I wanted. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So, now what attribute am I gonna put on her? I could go with dexterity, I could also just go with intelligence. Or maybe a mix. Yeah. Mix would be good. <laughs> also, on a nice side note, this is just focus regeneration. That's just weird. So, focus regeneration and focus regeneration and damage as well. Uh, what about my crit chance? 16. Does it go up by one point? Yeah, that's neat. Do... No, we're not getting anything else. Strength goes up, but doesn't change anything. Yeah, dexterity does a lot. Look at that. Nice. Okay, what about intelligence now? Uh, one A, uh, one Frey. Uh, still one Frey. It won't change. Not as quickly, at least. But I would say I'm gonna go for intelligence on this one. Just because the damage seems to be more potent. But the thing is, if I attack twice, right? I can do that too. Attacks per second twice. Huh. But with intelligence, then the healing would also be better, I would I would say, right? Yeah. Let's just use that. Everything's fine. And we got a bonus of 11 damage. Ah, uh, okay. Slightly more damage. And what kind of stats could we get? Am I going to go for will... Uh, determines the damage you inflict with willpower-based weapons and abilities. Sure, sure, sure. What kind of ability am I using? Willpower... Yeah. Looks like I'm gonna go for willpower, yeah? But I also wanna have, yeah, focus regeneration. I just love focus regeneration. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, I just need, a, yeah. How many attribute points do I actually, can I use here? Huh. Yeah, let's just go for intelligence for now. Even if it doesn't boost anything. <laughs> so, what about my weapons? Can I use some... It always says it's uncommon. Nothing in here scales with intelligence. That's just cheap. Absolute cheap. So, let's use this one. Teleport up here. Oh, but poor, 
Ah, okay. Yes? So it's more like a tunneling system that opens up. It's not that you can teleport from this uh, godstone here to this stone directly. Mm, you have to open up a portal and then you can go through. It's a bit problematic. Sounds like a plan. But you can kind of do it. All right, the next one will be this ruin down here. Let's just get ourselves into position. Because we know Go. what will happen next. <laughs> uh, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, this is... We're not in position yet. Not yet. Oh! Okay. We can actually enter it through uh, this opening up here as well. So let's do that, but not now. We're gonna do this in the next episode. So, until then, like and subscribe. <laughs> Ta-da!